How do you find derivative of inverse function at a given point? It is a very difficult concept which I am going to explain in very simple language with the help of two examples right before you. I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website Global Math Institute. In case you want to learn directly from me, feel free to send an email on globalmathinstitute at gmail.com. Our students are getting admission to the best universities. You can always be there. Now, let's look into how do we find derivative of inverse functions at a given point. So the two questions are, question 1, given f of x equals to x square minus 2, where x is greater than or equal to 0, find the derivative f of 3 and find derivative f inverse of 7. The second question is, given g of x equals to square root x minus 1, Find the derivative g inverse of 4. Let's try to understand what are we trying to do. First part of question number 1 is relatively simple. We just need to find the derivative of the function and then add 3, what is the value. So let's do that first. So we have the function f of x which is x square minus 2. Note that this function is defined for x greater than or equal to 0. That really means that in this interval, the function is always increasing. Since it is always increasing, the inverse will also be a function. Okay. Now, derivative of this particular function is 2x and at 3 derivative will be substitute 3 and we get a value which is 6. So the derivative of the function is 6. We have done one part of the problem which is how do we find derivative at f of 3. Second part is to find derivative at inverse of 7. But now, let's try to understand, when I say f inverse of 7, what does it really mean and which point on the original function are we referring to? Since we have f of x as equal to x square minus 2, where x is greater than or equal to 0. So, 7 is the output. We want to find what the input is. So, we can write 7 equals to x square minus 2 or 7 plus 2 equals to x square, which is definitely 9, and square root of 9 is x, which is equal to 3. So you see, f inverse of 7 actually is 3. So at the end, we'll also check how the derivative at 3 is related with that of the dx of f inverse 7. Perfect. Now to find the derivative of the inverse function at a given point, we need to derive a formula and then it will be very easy for us to understand. So now, derivative of f inverse 7, right? So let's consider a function p of x which is same as f inverse of x. Okay. In that case, f of p of x will be equal to what? Will be equal to x. Now, derivative of this function, if I take differentiate both sides, we get f prime of p of x times derivative of p of x equals to 1. Taking derivative on both sides. Derivative of x, as you know, is 1. Now from here we get a relation that 
the derivative of inverse function should be 1 over derivative of the function at p of x. Now, in our case, we need to find derivative at 7. So, if I substitute that, p of 7 will be equal to 1 over the derivative at p of 7. Correct? Now, what is inverse of 7? Inverse of 7 is 3, right? So, we get this relation as 1 over derivative at 3. Do you see that? So, what we have just derived is an expression which relates the derivative of the function with derivative of inverse of its function at corresponding points. Right? So, since we know the derivative at 3 is 6, we can write this as 1 over 6 as our answer. You see how we got the solution for part B. So, in short, we need to find the corresponding point on the function and the reciprocal of the derivatives is the relation between the two. So, I hope you got this concept. Perfect. Now, with that in mind, let us see how do we solve the second question. So, here is your second question. We are given g of x equals to square root of x minus 1. Now, this is increasing function whose inverse will also be a function. So, first thing is to find what is g inverse of 4. To find g inverse of 4, 4 has to be the output. We have 4 equals to square root of x minus 1. 4 square equals to x minus 1, 16 plus 1 equals to x, so x is 17. From the rule which we just saw, let us find the derivative of this particular function. So, square root of x minus 1 will be 1 over 2 square root of x minus 1. Now, this derivative at 17 is how much? Let's substitute the value 17 here. And what we get here is 1 over 2 square root of 17 minus 1, which is equal to 1 over 2 square root of 16. Square root of 16 is 4. 4 times 2 is 8. We get 1 over 8. You get the whole idea. Now, so we can say, that the derivative, the dx of g inverse of 4 is equal to reciprocal of 8, 1 over 1 over 8, which is equal to 8. So, we have utilized our knowledge of understanding how the derivatives are related between the functions and their inverse. Now, this playlist has got many such examples along with the proof which we just did for the first question. I like you to watch this playlist and master the strategies. I hope it makes sense. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, that would be great. But this was a shortcut method for all such questions. Thank you and all the best.